Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following multiplication square puzzle. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for solutions to more math puzzle. In your multiplication square puzzle, if you multiply the numbers on each row or column, it gives you the total outside the box. So in the example given, if we have 5 times 6, Will give us 30, 3 times 8 will give us 24. And likewise, 5 times 3, if I go to the column, will give us 15, and 6 times 8 will give us 48. So in the example given, we are able to use that to find the value of the numbers in the two boxes given. I'm starting with the first box. And to find factors of 6 that if multiplied together will give me 6. So I'm starting with the first row. The factors of 6 if multiplied together will be 2 times 3 equals to 6. And I also have 6 times 1 equals to 6. If I look at 49, I have... 7 times 7 is 49 and I also have 49 times 1 equals 49. I'm done with my rows and move to my columns. For 14, I have it 2 times 7 will give me 14 and likewise 14 times 1 will give me 14 and if I go to the second column for 21 I have 3 times 7 will give me 21 and likewise 21 times 1 will give me 21. Note that if I pick a box the number in that box will serve as a factor of both 6 and 14. So if I go to my expansion at the bottom Factors of 6 and 14 will be 2. And I can see that in my explanation below such that I can only have the number 2 here, which is a common factor for 6 and 14. And because I have that 2 placed there, the combination I have for 14 will now be 2 times 7 and the combination I have for 6 will be 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 will give me 6, 2 times 7 will give me 14 and to get the last box if I go to the multiples of or the factors of 49 I have 7 times 7. That's the only combination that will have a factor of 7. So therefore, the last box will be a 7. And a quick check, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 3 is 21, and 2 times 7 is 14. Let's look at the second example. Starting with the first row, I'm looking for product of factors of 27, and that will be 3 times 9. Oh, yes. 3 times 9 equals to 27 and I also have 27 times 1 equals 27 if I go to 32 32 I have 2 times 16 equals 32 I have 8 times 4 equals 32 and I also have my 32 times 1 equals 32. If I go to my column, the product of factors of 36 will be, I have 2 times 18 is 36. I have 6 times 6, 36. I have 3 times 12, Give me 36 
and I also have 36 times 1 36 I have 4 times 9 give me 36 and then for 24 I have 2 times 12 24 I have 8 times 3 24 and I also have 6 times 4 24 and then I have 24 times 1 is 24 starting with 27 and 24 I need a number or a common factor for 27 and 24 if I go to the combination below I have 30 times 9 I'm going to take out 27 times 1 because none of the other numbers will have a factor of 27 I'm also going to take out 31 times 1 because none of the other numbers will have a factor of 32 I'm going to take out my 24 times 1 because none of the other numbers will have a factor of 24 likewise 36 times 1 so if you look at the factors of 27 I'm left with 3 times 9 so in that box I can only insert 3 or 9 but if I look at the combination for 24 the only combination that has 3 will be 3 times 8 as shown so therefore the only number that can fit in that serve as a common factor between 27 and 24 is 3 and once I put my 3 there for the first column the combination that gives me 24 will be 3 times 8 so I can only have my 8 here and once I have that if I look at the first row the combination that will give me 27 if I go back to my expansions below is 3 times 9 so that missing box can only be 9 because 9 times 3 will give me 27 and then for me to find the value of the last box the combination that will give me 36 I already have 9 so the factor the second factor will be 4 so that's 4 and to check for the last row 4 times 8 will also give me 32 thanks for watching bye